wildlife photographer in Squamish has spent months trying to catch a Canada goose that has been impaled by an arrow. Now he's raising money so a rescue association can buy special equipment to capture and treat the injured bird before it's too late. CTV Shannon Patterson has the story. When a Squamish wildlife photographer first spotted this Canada goose back in August, he did a double take. Yeah, he does everything a goose does, except he's got this big arrow sticking out of him. It's believed the arrow has been embedded in the goose's behind since at least June, when there were sightings of the injured bird in Seashelt. Well, first of all, I thought, well, there's no way you can fly all the way from Seashelt, but... Sure enough, it was him. It's pretty incredible. I think that it was fortunate in how the arrow was positioned, that the arrow is not interfering with the movement of the wings um, or the legs. But that's made it very difficult to catch. We have been up several times uh, with a few teams to try and capture it, and every time it has evaded us. He's just too smart. We've, we've actually heard him right into a soccer goalpost. And we thought, okay, we got him, we got him, and then he turned around, flew right back out the other way. And he lands about 50 yards away, and then he just starts foraging and wiggling his little tail and the little arrows wiggling. While the goose can still fly, swim, and forage for food. You know, he's really limping now, and like I'm pretty sure it's, it has to be infected by now. It's been four months he's had this arrow in him. Anything that's, that's piercing into you would, would be painful. And I'm also very concerned that the arrow could get snagged on reeds uh, when it's trying to forage. And so we definitely don't want to see that happen. The best option to finally capture the goose, a gun that can shoot a net from a distance. If you have that net gun, you can shoot it, bang, get them, catch them, transfer them to Wildlife Rescue Hospital, and they will surgically remove the arrow and fix them up and release them. Sear created a GoFundMe to help the Wildlife Rescue Association pay for the net gun. And I raised two thousand dollars in six hours. You know, just an incredible person and an incredible community behind Tim to have stepped up. He's committed to rescuing the goose. He's nicknamed Wilson after the indestructible volleyball in the movie Castaway. He's a survivor. A lot of people are cheering for him. Like everybody knows about him. It's just a matter of trying to catch him. Shannon Patterson, CTV News.